What's up drivers, what's up riders? Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the app Grubhub. I'm doing my first Grubhub order. Plus, we're gonna be doing a few other things multi-apping. Which ones are we gonna use? You have to stay tuned to find out. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We're moving. What's going on, people? Actually just um, turned on Grubhub for the first time um, to take some offers. I was gonna do Uber Eats, but I said, let me go ahead and try Grubhub for the first time and see what I can make. Um, I actually just did uh, three burpees earlier today, which brought me to about 70 something dollars. And then I did one Instacart order that was 18 bucks. So I'm very close to rounding out 100. I think I'm like at 99. If you guys just wanna say I'm at 100, it is what it is. I got my Grubhub card here and uh, we'll just wait and see if we get any orders. This will be my first time doing Grubhub. Bit, 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 bit. All right, enough. If there's any fans of Nirvana, you should know what this means. Anne Maria. All right, guys, so just to go over this really quick, I started with Instacart, and um, Instacart has me, let's check it out, for this week. Uh, I just dropped that order off, so it was $18 in the queue. Uh, looking at it here, it's pending. The tip, so it went up from $11 to $13. And um, so yeah, that's $20 there. And I think in Burpee, I was already at like $74 with the three orders I did this morning. Let's go check it out. It's not in my payout risk uh, screen just yet. Let's do pending. Uh, pending orders, not pending, what am I doing? I swear I use this app, I swear it. Uh, so it's the 17th, I got three orders here. Calculate those on the screen so you guys can see where I am right now. And just so you guys can screen check it on here, it's the 17th, today is the 17th. Well, I'm still waiting for, oh, we got a, a Grubhub order just came in. Oh, exciting. New offer, except before it expires. Let me show you guys. Okay, so this is what Grubhub's looking like. We're gonna say view. And holy smokes, $10 to Taco Bell. Where is it taking me though? You know, I don't care, we're just gonna take it. Uh, accept offer. And hopefully this doesn't take me to Santa Monica, California. <laughs> Let's go. One other thing I wanted to check because it looks like I might've got a notification for Roadie. Unless those icons just kind of look simu similar in um, iconicness. No, that's not a word. English teachers, don't crucify me. Oh, let's see, roadie, 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 roadie. Oh, there is a roadie real close to me. Actually, two roadies that are very close to me. But the thing about it, guys, is I can't take it. Yeah, so this morning, what brought me out of the house, anyway, I was gonna take a roadie order. It was gonna be a two roadie order. It was one pickup, and it was two drop-offs that were in a perfect alignment. So I, you know, gave them the offer and said, hey, I wanna kinda do this. And they were like, well, no, you can't. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Get a life. Uh, for, for what they said is your background check hasn't come in. I was like, well, why am I seeing stuff if I can't even work? And then I emailed them this morning before I left and just got an email back. And the person said that um, you first have to try to send an offer. I guess to even show that you want to do this. You're going to be rejected. Now that you sent an offer, we're going to go ahead and start your background check. How? backwards is that <laughs> i don't know so anyway my background check is now pending i thought i was already roadie official i guess not so um yeah we'll see what happens with roadie sorry guys but let's go ahead and get this grubhub order done and um in the bag ready to take off i will say i was a little confused doing the training as to which orders you go in and just snatch up and the ones you pay for yes if i go in and get the food and they're like hey <laughs> and they send like the dogs and the swat team out on me i know i'm supposed to turn around and pay but if they let me leave then i guess i'm good so i got this order i am trying to find out where it is tasks okay let's show you guys because i'm sure a lot of you want to know what this thing looks like and very sorry the ac is on because it is hot 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 in the city so I'm gonna go to tasks. I'm learning this with you guys. Well, there it is. We're gonna go pick up a Taco Bell and drop it off to Mr. Eric. Let's see, Taco Bell, I'm gonna click on that. Instacart's got a $19 order, can't do it right now. Uh, go directly to the restaurant in the lobby. Uh, or go through, if it's closed, go through the drive through I'm gonna try to go through the drive through and see what they say. <laughs> so this is on Slaughter Lane. I guess I click on that to open navigation. I'm hacking the system. Not really. All right, come on, let's go guys. We're gonna go to Slaughter Lane. Also, people who use Grubhub, can you guys track us? Like, do you know where we're 
like in Uber, how it, how it shows you like when you're like moving around. Does it let you know that with us? I know where this is. Let's get there. All right, so I clicked on the uh, actual order and you can see on the order is four items and it gives you a little bit more detail as to what the customer wants, the sauce packets and all that kind of stuff. If I have to get it, then I'll take note of that. If uh, they don't hand it to me in the bag, which they normally is still in bags up, I can't go in there to check. So if this is for the restaurant, I hope they get it right. I can't go in this gentleman's bag to see if they give me sauce packages or not. But we are moving on. All I'm saying to myself is please don't let this be a mistake. Please don't let this be a mistake. When I go to pick it up and get on the navigation, it's like, you have just now booked the cruise to Santa Monica, California. Please have your beach towel and sunscreen. It's gonna be a hot, hot summer. <laughs> Turn right. In 400 feet, arrive at your destination. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Can I go ahead and take your order? I got a Grubhub pickup order for Eric. I'm sorry? A Grubhub pickup order for Eric. Okay, go ahead and pull the second one. Thanks. That was due. Not Uber Eats, Grubhub. I have to like, uh keep track of all these I got so many freaking apps I might end up saying the wrong thing but no this is Grubhub we're gonna do a few Grubhub guys and see what we can make you're excited I am oh we're next do I give him a name do I give him a code I don't know I was doing a Grubhub for Eric yes. oh let me check sorry he said fire fire guess we're not paying for it let me put my money away <laughs> thank you so Grubhub does give you bags my little tray fits well right inside of there, so you guys were made for each other. I just heard another cowbell, so I don't know what that means. I know that's Grubhub's like mating call. <laughs> I guess walk you guys through this again. Um, all you Grubhub like veterans, like get with it, dude. I'm sorry, I'm just learning. All right, so we said we picked it up. I say arrived. Probably should have did that a long time ago. I'm gonna say I got the order. Now I'm gonna say I'm leaving. I'm guessing this dude is getting all these text messages right back to back. So strange. Now we're gonna go to Eric's uh, place. Hopefully he is not so far away. Oh, they even have ETAs on here with the tip included. Wow. So let's get this to this gentleman so I don't uh, upset the Grubhub gods. By the way, he's eight minutes away. I just wanna keep the customer service going. So I'm gonna click on this and you could call or text. I'm gonna text this gentleman and ooh, it has pre stuff in here. I'm just gonna say I'm on my way. Just let him know that we're, we're heading on our way. Cool, let's do it. Nothing like diving head first into something new. That's always fun, right? Right? My good old friend Eric uh, Note says leave on the step or leave on the door, which is what pretty much everybody's saying, but you just kind of want to read. Some people actually still want to like, have their food handed off to them and not set on the ground. I don't know if we're supposed to take a picture of this or not, but it looks like since I can text him, I'm gonna text a picture to him, just showing that his food is outside. So you wanna cover yourself. You want to cover thine self. We're almost there, we're four minutes away. In a quarter of a mile, turn left onto Danny Lane. Arrived. All right, we just pulled up at this person's home. Just gonna hit this button here that says arrived. Cool, let's go do this real quick. Hey, thank you. You're welcome, just taking a little shot. What a rush, <laughs> we got that one done. The one thing I gotta start doing with uh, Grubhub is uh, I think I'm gonna start taking the bag up there with me. I'm so used to Uber Eats where I just take the food out and then just rock it up there by itself. So something to, oh snap, we got another order that came in. Let's look at this. Grubhub's like, you wanna get paid? Let's get paid. <laughs> so there's a new order in here. Uh, accept it before it expires. Let's see what this says. View, order, Whataburger. Oh, and it tells me, okay. There's no more need to wonder. It tells you. There's one order here. It's $9 from Whataburger. You will need to order and pay. <laughs> cool. I'm going to go ahead and accept this offer. Can't be any worse than I do when I go to do favor. We've gathered best practices. <laughs> Swipe to begin. I don't really have time for that. Just whatever. We're not doing heart surgery here. We're just ordering some food. I'm sure I can figure it out. All right. So we're going to go up here. We're going to go to Whataburger. Okay, so we're gonna order, what does this person want? Six items. And we're gonna be delivering this to Sabrina, the teenage witch. Just kidding. <laughs> Time to get your popcorn, guys, as you can uh, sit back and laugh at me as I stumble over trying to order this order. Oh, 
looks like Burpee got an order coming in too that we might be able to do. It's a busy day in the neighborhood, a busy, busy day in this Eastie Wood or Beastie Wood, however you Turn say it. Into the car park, oh, then arrive at your destination. Okay, okay. Everybody put the guns down. <laughs> Jeez, aggressive ass GPS. In a quarter of a mile, arrive at your destination. Something's telling me GPS did not like my singing, so I will. In a quarter of a mile, turn left. Just, Proceed to the roof. Shut the fuck up. Look at that rooftop. And for the record, it's what a burger. I still do it to this day. I call it water burger. You say it so fast, it's kind of like water burger. No, it's what a burger. Let's order this, guys. Let's order this. Uh, yeah, I'm doing a Grubhub order. Now let's see if I can get a few things for this person. Yes, sir. Thank you, All right. Uh, the first one they want is the uh, honey barbecue chicken strip sandwich. It's looking like the combo, yeah. Oh, what's the drink? Uh, so for the drink, they want to substitute and get the uh, strawberry shake large. Okay, because it was the fries large? And the fries, uh, uh, small fries. So it's a small fry with a... Large strawberry shake. Okay. Mm -hmm. And honey barbecue, right? Honey barbecue, that's right. Okay. And on the, um, on the honey barbecue chicken, they wanted Monterey ch cheese jack on there. Okay. And uh, no oil on the bun. Okay, and then on the other one they want is um, they want the uh, double meat Whataburger Junior. And does that one have cheese? Uh, this one has American cheese. And was it all the way with mustard, lettuce, tomato, and onions? It has lettuce, tomatoes, and mayonnaise and pickles. No onions. Okay, and what drink? Uh, no drink on this one. No, just the burger. Just the burger and toasted on both sides, please. Okay. And then for the last thing, they just want the um, chocolate chip chunk cookie. And I'm sorry, they want the fries to be large. That'll be it. And are the fries to be large on the honey barbecue? Yeah, and that's everything. Okay. 1690. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> Thank God she was cool. She was like, you know what, sir? Cancel. Just go somewhere else. Go to Chick fil A. Have a nice day. You too. Thank you. Let's go somewhere and get ourselves together. <laughs> Let's go somewhere and collect our thoughts and regain our strength. <laughs> Okay, so intern, again, sorry for the air, guys. Intern, that was a lot like doing a favor. You order the food, you pay for it with the card, and it looks like I have to now uh, scan it in with the um, with the app. So let's do that real quick. La da dee, la da da, la da dee, la da da. Uh, even says on this order contains one drink, so like don't run off and not forget the drink. I'd like to access the camera, we're gonna take a photo of this receipt. 23 miles away. I don't think so. Uh, dispatch, what are you smoking? All right, that's a nice receipt. Looks like you can add multiple receipts if the receipt's long. I didn't know that, but I do now. So next time I know I can zoom in a little bit better, I can say I got the order. And now I can say I'm leaving. And um, the ETA for this order was at 3.20. We're ahead of uh, schedule. Uh, leave the order on the front door of the apartment. Cool, cool. Let's move. So not just yet. What I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna actually uh, make another custom uh, thing, but I'm gonna use my same prefix that I use for Uber Eats. Uber Eats. Um, I'm just gonna take out the Eats part and say I got your food. We'll be dropping it off with no contact delivery and I'll be seeing you soon. So that's that now we're gonna go navigate to this person's address we're gonna hit navigate and we're off we're following the leader the leader we're leader we're following the leader wherever he may go how i remember that that's like saying like elementary like pre-k some things you just never forget turn left onto garbage drive then arrive at your destination arrive at your destination still doing that order uh actually went to the address uh, and it was not right. I was looking for the person's address. I'm like, I see every address but what I'm looking for. So I called them. They're like, are you lost or something? I was like, well, the address in here is not what I'm seeing on the street. They're like, oh, probably have the wrong address in the uh, application. News to me. So we got it right. She's actually in an apartment complex, not in a home. And um, I'm looking for the building right now and we can drop this food off. Okay, we found it. Like, Sorry, chick. I am not Professor Charles Xavier. I don't know where you are. I'm taking the bag with me this time. <laughs> Let's go. 
Nothing is more mind warping than navigating an apartment complex. Finding the building location is just your first mission. But locating the actual door can be an aneurysm in itself. It's time to play America's favorite game, which hallway is Let's it? follow this confused, slightly underconfident driver as he tries hallway number one. Mm. Not that one, Daniel Boone. Best turn around and try that one again. Nothing makes you look more suspicious than drifting in and out of random apartment corridors. At any time you find yourself dreadfully lost, we recommend you fire up the app Beans. This app guarantees to help find building locations and exact apartment door numbers. No more wandering around like this guy. Try Beans today. The app, that is, not the can. Back in the car, seems simple enough. Got everything cleared out. So, um... Let's see if we get any more orders. All right, things are getting a little crazy. So Grubhub definitely is freaking busy. I'm sure Uber Eats will be just as busy, but we got a $9 order going to Popeyes. Let's go ahead and accept this offer. And that Popeyes is like right down the street. That's the crazy thing. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Burpee had some orders in here. Uh, one's 15 miles, the other one's 27 miles. I know I'm not gonna do that one decline but if you guys want to see what the payout look like so this one is 14 for burpee and the customers tip in 11 um something i might look into central market orders normally take you pretty far away. but we're going to go ahead and take care of this uh grubhub order uh, let me check one more thing and dispatch popped up something it said it had oh i'm slipping i'm falling i can't get up uh dispatch had something that was eight miles away somebody snatched it up already how about point pickup everybody was talking about point pickup so let's see point pickup if i can get something while i'm moving i can go ahead and snatch it i think point pickup was uh point pickup was hot this morning but i was uh on burpee so i couldn't do any point pickup yeah, point pickup not showing me anything either. So let's keep grub hubbing. Love that chicken from Popeyes. This is an order that we're just uh, picking up. We don't have to um, laugh at me trying to place an order. So crazy. I can do it for myself, but for everybody else, I'm like, oh, pickles, mustard, onion, fries, large fries, no ketchup, please. This person's getting two items. Let me show you guys more of the screen. All right, so they're getting this right here, the handcrafted chicken tenders. No chicken sandwich, this person's not a psycho. And we're gonna get the uh, iced tea. Pretty basic order. I'm trying to get better at this. When you come to the restaurant, we're gonna hit arrived. And now we can move forward. This is for Nathan, or Nathaniel. Just kidding. Hello, that was Barbara's Megan Happy. I have a Grubhub order for Nathan. Okay, yes, hello, thank you. Thanks. You're like such a traitor. You sure you don't have an Uber Eats order, sir? I recognize your face. No, I'm, I'm doing Grubhub today. Oh, Grubhub, huh? I see you. Uh, so I guess as, as I do more of these, it'll make a little bit more sense to me, but um, I think one of those actually showed the tip included. This was not showing the tip, so maybe the person can tip more in the app. I don't know. Um, I've seen a few Grubhub, Dimple on Demand. She does uh, some Grubhub that I've seen too. I know with Favor, uh, which is where you can place the order, all of the favorite orders you have to place. There is no just picking it up. Um, they tip later on. So just like Uber Eats, you'll get the tip later. Normally within about 24 hours, you see all the uh, favor tips uh, showing. But, um, oops, we're next. Curse those brakes. Uh, for a grow hub, Nathan W. Thank you. Thank you. Jeez, dude, hand me the food. He's all like, here you go. I'm literally like, reaching out the car to get it. Trust me, I'm not gonna try to abduct you. I promise, I'm not a snapping turtle. I won't take your arm off. So we're gonna say got order. We're gonna say leaving. Grubhub is pretty cool, pretty cool. That uh, shorthand or shortcut text thing that I do on my videos that a lot of you guys keep asking about, um, Dimples brought it to my attention when she was doing our Instacart videos a while back because I was copying and pasting it, which was so outdated. If I can't remember when I'm editing this, I'll put in a clip and show you guys how I do it on an iPhone. I don't have an Android, so I can't demo it on the an Android, but I normally put the links below uh, so you guys can see how to set it up on both devices. I would put it for the Windows phone, but there's no Windows phone anymore. Who has one of those? Bell, you heard, was from Coke Austin on Brody. It is also nine dollars. Let's go try to round that one up too. Gotcha. For you guys who have like 
DoorDash bags and Grubhub bags. Y'all deliver with y'all bags. Y'all just take the food out and walk it up to the customer's residency. I'd be interested to know. Anyway, we're moving on. I gotta go get some gas real fast and then we're gonna get this Poke Austin order. Busy, surprisingly, very busy. All right, I just got my gas. Now we're gonna head over here to this restaurant, Poke Austin or Austin Poke. Weirdest name <laughs> you can ever name a restaurant. I don't know, but it's a popular restaurant. I'll tell you that because I've done quite a few orders from Uber Eats. Uh, now it looks like Grubhub is following suit. We're five minutes away. So I have to say, I really do like the Grubhub delivery bags. They are very well made, um, tough, durable bags. Um, I'm sure people who do a lot of deliveries have to put them to the test. And there's a bigger bag that I have in my um, cargo area. Um, that they're like for pizzas and stuff. So, um, thank you, Grubhub. Oh, snap. I just remember too, Burpee messaged me. He probably had some orders for me to do and I completely forgot about it. I was not trying to ignore them. It's just, I am busy. So when I'm gonna pull into this place and get this order, uh, who are the, who's this person? There's no name. Oh, Joseph. Pick it up for Joseph and I'll see what, uh, Burpee wanted. Wasn't trying to leave you on red, I promise. In 900 feet, arrive at your destination. Go, I'm going in there. Get the mess out the way. Ah, Poke Austin. For Joseph? Uh, I think this is it here. Thank you. Yeah, move. All right, Poke Austin. Didn't mean to raid, but I needed some of that stuff. I'm sure the customer would appreciate it. All right, so let's go ahead and say where we are. All right, so we're gonna say we arrived. Should've did that when I actually arrived. I'm learning, guys, I'm learning. We got the order. We're now leaving. And I'm gonna send him a text message really, really quick. But I will say this one kind of sneak attacked me. I just kind of grabbed the order. Pay attention to the details, guys. I haven't seen the, um, I need to learn how to read the screen a little bit better. This one's kind of taking me a little far out of where I wanted to stay centrally. Uh, well, south central, LA, just kidding. In my south, in my, uh, south area, but, um, hey. But it's, uh, you know, it's a learning curve. So I'm gonna go up here and drop this off. I might actually work the area they dropped me off in, or I might just, turn off my availability and come back to the zone that I know and love. It's the right lane. All right, got that order all taken care of. Just waiting to see if they send me anything else. Thought he was coming outside to get his food. He's still sitting there. So, uh, nothing else from Grubhub just yet. Oh, Burpee, I got a text back, Burpee. Let me find out what they want. Very, very rude of me not to get back to them, but I promise you, I'm gonna do it now. Another thing I say about Burpee, um, too, is that I deal, well, not just I. <laughs> it looks like the app, Angle and Focus, looks like the app deal with a lot of uh, elderly customers. Um, I haven't seen a lot of uh, young folks here so there is an order that's in here right now like they're paying me $14 to do it and it's $11 tip from the customer from Central Market I don't know a Central Market that's close up here so um let me just text them back to see what they want to do still haven't gotten anything from Grubhub and I've done four orders from them so far as you guys can see kind of keeps a list of all your customers I mean Uber Eats kind of does the same thing but that's kind of cool just so you can see that. I'll screenshot it and put it on the screen so you guys can uh, you guys can have a much more clear representation of it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go offline with Grubhub because Burpee wants to have a talk. Uh-oh. All right, so to do that, we're just gonna go up here to the top and we're just gonna slide this over here. So now I'm not online. They shouldn't be giving me anything. But let's go take something, let's go look at something. Uh, delivery region so this is a hot area <laughs> this minecraft grid is so freaking funny so i'm sure sitting here i should get something but let me see what burpee wants so we went offline and earnings 
So far we're $37, uh, $9 in tips, that's my pay, accepting rate is 100 so far, and uh, we'll dig a little bit more into this later on. So, let's do this. Okay, so wasn't in trouble. <laughs> um, if you are in Austin, I really recommend you should sign up for Burpee, especially if you're in the north area, like by the campus, Jollyville, uh, Round Rock, Georgetown. They are really needing some shoppers up there. So he was asking me if I'd be willing to do orders up there. I'm like, dude, that is just out of the way. Like, right now, I'm actually central. Like, that Grubhub order brought me to the actual area of the UT campus. So there was two orders that I'm closer to that I can actually take that I couldn't take when I was down south. So I'm gonna go knock those out. What he was pretty much saying is like, I can make the order certain amount of money to compensate you like for your gas and time. So that's the thing, like they're willing to work with you, but you know, just don't feel pressured that you have to take those orders. That's exactly what he says. Like, I'm not pressuring you to take the orders. I'm just letting you know I could do this for you. And if you think that is gonna be reasonable for you, uh, we can go ahead and sign this order off on you. But you know, it's like, we just need some shoppers to take these orders. So sign up and try to get some burpee uh, employment because they really need some shoppers. I can't do it all. <laughs> and that's my thing about like negotiation. Like I want to be fair. I don't want to be like, well, you got to pay me $40 to do it. Like I remember one time I told him, cause he asked me if I want to do an order. And I think the order actually was in this area, but you know, I was South and I wasn't, I wasn't just going to drive up here to do that one order and then not have anything else going on. So, um, I was like, I don't even know what a reasonable amount of money would be to fairly have you pay for the gas as well as you know the order so um my thing was i just wanted to see like what he was going to offer and then i could just be like yay or nay but he was like okay i understand it's a it's a pretty tricky situation the funny thing is i'm gonna go get to shop at my first real job i had a lot of summer jobs but my first job was at heb hancock center so if you guys are in austin you guys know how busy that store is i gotta go pick up 11 items from this location and the customer is four minutes away. I'm sorry, the customer is four miles away and they're paying me $10.50. So I'm right up the street from this uh, HB. We'll get this dropped off. Afternoon agent gig. It's been a while. Not nearly long enough. You're calling, it's probably trouble. What do you want? Is that any way to treat an old friend? Anyhow, your mission if you choose to accept it and you will be paid handsomely will be to retrieve a few items from this local location. Are you up for it? I'm always up for a quick mission, especially if the pay as well. There is just one little catch. I will be your eyes and ears for this mission just to make sure you don't screw it up. Great, just what I need, more dead weight. All right, let's get this over with. Superb, and this time I promise you, I won't guide you off a cliff. Let's get started. Careful, detecting a tripwire ahead. Navigation confirms you've made your way to the cereal aisle. Be sure to check the boxes for any damage. I don't need you to tell me how to run my missions. I got this. Suit yourself, but don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, well the one thing I needed a warning on you did. Are you still hung up on that cliff mission? That was so long ago. It was last week. Oh, right. But you survived, didn't you? Just make sure the infrared beams are down by the milk. I've also done you one better. The sensory doors have been deactivated. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I think they're on to you. You best finish that shop quickly. Well, then stall them. I still got two substitutions uploading. I'm not leaving here without confirmation. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. All right, looks like both items are confirmed. I'm heading out. And in record time, we have about five minutes before they swarm that location. If you don't mind, I'm probably gonna run back and get another box for that. Sorry? I'm probably gonna run back and get another one, that one's crushed. Okay. I'm shopping for somebody else. Yeah. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> yeah, so when you're done, I'm already charging for it, so you just run back and grab another one. Okay? Perfect, thank you. Hmm. 
navigation confirms you're heading back into the hot zone. You wouldn't be going back to replace a box of cereal now, would you? Not one word. Not one word. Okay, fair enough. But here's three. Told you so. Are we done here? As a matter of fact, we are. Mission is complete. Your money will be wired within the next 24 to 48 hours. As always, it was a pleasure. Remember this app will self-destruct in the next five seconds. Until next time, watch out for those cliffs. <laughs> I think I did pretty darn well. Um, got in there pretty quickly and got out pretty decent time. I got a gray hair. I'm getting old. I'm just freaking crib keeper. I'm gonna fall apart. Moving on. Um, let's see. That was a little introduction to Burpee, guys. Burpee is just gonna be scattered throughout this entire channel. <laughs> the first video is probably gonna come out in December. <laughs> like, I still got those two videos to edit on my phone. I just wanted to give you guys videos. Y'all don't care what order it is. Y'all just want to see videos. Anyway, we got it all done. As you guys see, you gotta, you gotta upload the receipt. Uh, I told the gentleman that I will uh, text him when I drop the stuff off. And I got one more pending. I gotta go knock out from Central Market. But let's go drop this one off from this for this gentleman. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. He's 0.8 miles away, so he's really close. That's awesome. Felt really, really weird going back into that store after so long. That was my, like I said, my first real job. Helped me pay off my first car, which was a 94 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Love that car. I would still have that Jeep if they didn't make this one. I was looking at a new Jeep and none of the ones I liked. And in 2006, they made this Commander and that's the one I jumped on and sold my baby. Yes, it was paid off. I pay off all of my cars when I can. And um, that's just how it goes. Story about that, guys, so we have a little bit of time. My first car, my mom actually, my, well, my first car was a 94, Sorry, it was an 84 Toyota Cressida Brown and it had a tape player in there. My mom bought it for me and uh, for our high school party, like when you graduate high school, everybody has the party. I ran out of there without getting the maintenance done on my own. Like, you better get your brakes fixed before you go anywhere. And I didn't listen and end up getting into my first accident. Bad times. And lost that car. She said, from this point on, you're buying your own cars. And I had to catch the bus over here every day and night until I got that car paid off and that was my first car and I cherished it, just like I'm cherishing this one, so. A little bit more about me. Moving on, we're driving. Yeah, so she taught me the value of responsibility with that one. She said, I ain't buying you sheep else. Like, you want it, you go get it. And when you have to pay for it yourself, best believe you appreciate it a lot more. A heck of a lot more. <laughs> uh, all right, looks like we're here. What apartment is this? That's one thing I think Burpee needs to improve on is the memory of the app. If you come out of the app, you have to go all the way back into like the order. Um, you know, if you get out of Instacart, it brings you right back to where you left off. So that's one thing they have to fix. Okay, cool. I'm gonna send this gentleman a text, let him know that I'm here. We're gonna get these groceries to his door and then we're moving on to the next one. Just wanna do one more check. Make sure I get the right number because last time that was, that was not cool. That was not cool at all. Up and down them stairs for no reason. So sometimes you gotta take a breath. Okay, I got it. I'm moving. All right, our friend got his groceries. Uh, so the only thing we need to do now is just end out this order. I'll show you guys here on the screen. Once you go back into the order, you're just gonna do the order one more time. You're gonna come up here to toggle to where everything was checked off your list. You're gonna say confirm purchase and then you're gonna say submit and deliver. That's it. Um, I always scan in the receipts before I leave the store anyway, so I don't do that while I'm at the customer's house, because sometimes you wanna just drive away. But now we got one more order pending. Uh, we're even closer to this customer. We need to get to Central Market and do another shop, and then we will keep this going. Uh, we're probably gonna jump back into some more Grubhub because I know um, that's kind of why I started watching this video to begin with. <laughs> in 900 feet, arrive at Central Market. HEB's version of Whole Foods. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try to knock this out. I haven't shopped this one, so it might take me a little time, but hopefully I can get back in record time. Let's go. And we're back. All right, so about to drop this off to the customer. They're about eight minutes away. Moving, grooving. Turn left, then the destination is on your right. All right, we just arrived. Uh, I think this is actually a nursing home, so let's go get this to this lady, and then we can move on. I think I accepted another uh, burpee order, not even thinking about it, um, but just keeping it moving, so we're moving. Bah, 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 bah. What up? Never mind. No good to be on the board. Please ensure at the main, which is on Jackson Street. Bring the door to the left. 
Hello, Joan. Yes. Just to let you know, uh, looks like a security guard by the name of Daniel took the groceries in, and they'll be bringing them up to you. Okay, thank you very much. And you have a tip on the, uh, the thing already, don't you? I believe so, yes, ma'am. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate yeah. it. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And I think I just figured out what was wrong with my car. AC kept going on and off and I was trying to figure out what it was. Looks like it's leaking something out of there. A leaking car is never a good thing, guys. Never a good thing. Still want to be an app driver? Do you? Oh, think twice. <laughs> There's just another day for you and me in paradise. Or the mechanic shop. You know, that actually, I'm kind of glad that happened because every time you take your car to the shop, it never uh, does what it does with you by your by itself. You know what I'm saying? So I actually have video proof of what it's doing so they can uh, actually pinpoint it and get it fixed. And it's been doing that for about a good week or so. When they said we can't replicate it and I was like, okay, well, I guess it's been doing it. It's been turning on, I've been driving. Maybe it's just affecting the AC. Clearly, it's affecting a lot more because now I can't even shift it in a gear to like go anywhere. Just to make myself feel better, I might actually go do some uh, some user testing <laughs> like $31 and I would have made 200 like I know like clearly I would have made $31 uh, before nine o'clock come on come on we'll see we'll see it all be calculated unfortunately our friend never got around to user testing but here are a look of the apps we've worked today starting with burpee in this application we worked a total of five orders totaling out to be 11057 up next was the all new shiny grubhub infinity app the orders ran in this app brought this total to 37 dollars and four cents and lastly don't forget we jumped into instacart to complete an order that was worth 20 dollars and six cents so after we combine all these totals together, we're left with a grand amount of 167.67 minus $200. We are just short of $32.33. For now, we're out of commission, but it'll give us time to edit those two videos we keep talking about. So if you want to see us return, go ahead and hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also hit the notification bell so when we upload any new videos, you'll be the first to know about it. Comment below and let us know what you thought about Burpee and Grubhub. Until our next mission guys do stay positive and be safe peace my friends and we'll catch you on the next ride